Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst and it's another day for a little bit of happy. I'm trying to have a little bit of happy. So we're gonna go ahead and start this process out with another broken container. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> As usual. Christine and I went to the warehouse this morning to go through, go through the products and we got all the way here and then we broke the container. I tried to glue it, but I'm not a very good fixer upper, so uh, uh, there it kind of works, but just, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. I don't need the extra stress of all that. So what I wanted to do today is share you, and we're gonna talk about it. I really want y'all to give us some feedback. We're starting to do our production for Mother's Day. Originally, we had it all preset. We do it about a year out, mm, eight months out at a time, as far as our specials. Well, with the situation we're in, the containers are not gonna make it in. Even if they were, I don't need any more containers. I need to use what I got because, you know, we're trying to keep our cash flow going here. So anyway, we're gonna actually gonna modify, and this is a, a picture, and I have two pictures. Today we have a white one, which is, they're both porcelain, or they're not porcelain, they're glass containers, and that we're going to use, well, this is not glass, it's uh, some kind of porcelain. Anyway, so we're gonna use some viburnum, some yellow rubber daisies, some free spirit roses, a little bit of solidago, or and also a few lilies. So it's not a lot of insertions. We just want something bright and cheerful. We're trying to hit a certain price point. So a little bit of a keepsake container here. So what we're gonna do first. If you don't break it. If I don't break it or break myself, we're going to start the process and we're gonna insert all, we're gonna fill this first with the viburnum which is in season right now. So we always try to use flowers that are most in season during each holiday. That way we can give you, the consumer, more value, more visual value, as well as more floral value. So Viburnum's at the peak right now, beautiful. You know, it's one of those things when it's in, it's in, when it's not, it's not good at all. So we're gonna go back and add our Gerber daisies Gerbera, depending on how much you're charging, into there. So what we want is something that's just cheerful and bright, uh, pretty good price point as far as uh, typically Mother's Day specials for us are gonna run anywhere from 75 to 125 for a pretty mixed arrangement. These are Free Spirit Roses. These are my favorite roses. Um, because they open so pretty that a lot of times they'll have just a hint of aroma, not real strong, but to me it's more about the longevity of the flower as well as the color. And this can go anywhere from a soft pink in the middle or kind of a medium pink to a, a really bright, happy orange. So there's that. So how's everybody doing today, by the way, out there in Tiptonhurst land, flower land, wherever you are? Everybody okay? We do. We have some friends from Jonesboro, the UK, West Little Rock. Awesome. So then we'll go back and add just a few pieces of the Solidago. Yep. And last but not least, we would go back and add the lilies on last. For those of you watching lately, you always know that I'm going to put the lilies in the last thing because that way they won't get bruised, they won't break, and also we're going to open them in place for me. We have Miss Alice from Alabama. Hey, Miss Alice Always from tuning Alabama. in. Michigan, we're, Hot Springs. We're glad you're here. We're glad you're sharing this. We really want to give you give us some feedback on what to do. And then last but not least, we're going to add just this really delicate, cute little butterfly for just a little whimsy. So that would be one thing that we're thinking about doing. Does it need more color? Or do you like the color scheme as fat and the fact that it's more mon almost a monochromatic or analogous, uh, analogous. Is that the one that's all together? Anyway, it's just in shades of, of what I would call citrus, which are orange, yellow, lime. Think about any kind of citrus, that's what we're trying to do with this arrangement. Bright and cheerful. So the next one might be a monochromatic arrangement, another glass pitcher. We're gonna go a little bit more garden -esque. We have some viburnum. We have some Queen Anne's lace. We have some astilbe there. We will be using a couple more lilies. Now these are not Casablanca lilies, these are Asiatic lilies, so they don't have the aroma that a lot of those do. Oh, just dropped my bunny tail, I'll have to bend down here and get them. 
couple of hydrangea, more than viburnum. And for aroma, we're gonna use some hyson. So let me sneak over here and get this bunny tail. Hang on. I have to break these things. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> you just thought it was going in the floor. Anyway. Everybody said they love the citrus colors and everything in this. Oh, good. Well, we're gonna play around for the next couple of days here and there, and I'm gonna ask your opinion because your opinion is really important to us. I'm actually gonna use you almost like our group study. We're gonna jury some things and tell me if you eh, like it, needs more color, don't think it's worth it, kind of deal. I really want your feedback to help us. Because all that matters is what you think. Doesn't matter what I think. So it's about the consumer, so our customer. So we're gonna add those hydrangeas again. This is just a really good filler. Typically, we, we would have been using more stock, but stock right now is not a, a really available, and there's a lot of rain right now in California, so it's not cutting very well. Once we cut it, it's molding really fast. So, to stop the bleeding, more or less, we're gonna just kind of skip that and go more into hydrangea for the holiday. Plus, it's a less of an insertion for us, so it makes the fact that we'll be able to do more faster. There's a little bit of viburnum. This one's gonna jump off the table. So another question I had today, and I need your feedback. There seems to be people popping up online that are offering courses where like, let's say on Wednesday, I'm gonna do like a, a happy hour cash and carry special where I'm gonna make the bouquet, have bouquets made up you would order them on Monday, we would deliver them or ship them to you, and then on Wednesday, we would all make an arrangement. You would make yours in your home, and you would, and you would follow me as I make one here live. Would there be any interest in doing that? Would there be any interest in even doing like a dried arrangement or a silk arrangement where we would ship you all the product or deliver it here in town to you, and then we would play together online or on during the Facebook? So I kind of need your feedback on that and see if there's any interest in doing that, because if there is, we'll pursue it. And if there's not, we're just gonna keep on rolling. So, but I've been watching other people do that and I just wonder, would y'all wanna do that? Would y'all want me to send stuff to you and then we all play together or what do you think? So now we're gonna add our Quinn's Lace and this is just gonna give us a little bit more of a garden-esque whimsical feel. Like I've said all along, one thing about Queen Anne's Lace, Either it lasts forever, or it doesn't hold up until you get it out the door. So this actually came out of the arrangement from yesterday, which by the way, the Janae's did not like that arrangement, didn't like it at all. Normally my wife will say, mm, it was okay, but I didn't like it. But by the end of the conversation, she goes, but it was okay. I didn't even get an okay on that one. And she was like, mm, no, it wasn't good. It was a hot, well, she said it was a hot kind of mess, but I won't go what that meant. So anyway, but like I told y'all in the beginning, either you're gonna really like it or you're really not. You have a lot of people saying they love that idea. Some people missed out on the holiday workshops and so they would enjoy doing this oh, cool. since there's no holiday workshops. Okay. Well, let's put that together and we'll see what we can come up with. We're getting ready this week, this next week to go into secretary, well, not secretary's week, I mean, it's like professional's week, which, um, we don't know how that's going to pan out for us. Easter was really good for delivery for us because no one else was able to, there wasn't any other way to get stuff. So we did a lot of deliveries. Of course, our cash and carry or a walk-in business was eh, because no one can come in the store. But in general, we feel like anyone that's out delivering is probably going to have a, a pretty hectic delivery time. So we're kind of trying to figure it out. This is all new to us. I mean. We've been in business since 1886. I've been doing this since I was 14, so I've been doing it almost 41 years. I have no guide to go by, and I've dropped those bunny tails again. Anyway, so let me stick this in here. I need a bigger table. My table's not growing the same, the same amount of time as I am as far as getting bigger every day from eating all the time, sitting at home. Stress eat, so anyway. This is called a stilby. So 
last but not least, we'll add just a hint of grass and I'll pick it up off the floor for the last time, hopefully. And add just a little bit of that dead in the middle. So there's that. Sadie said, so now they know how old you are. I'm very Let old. Let your age I'm out. 50, 56. <laughs> You know, the bad part was just the other day, because it was in January and all this was going on, and I think we've all kind of checked out as far as time management goes. Anyway, someone said something about yesterday. I was like, I'm 55. No, I'm 56. Anyway, so there you go. It's just a simple garden-esque arrangement with all monochromatic, all white, um, very fragrant. And then we have some bright colors. We're probably gonna be doing some color schemes like we'll do a blue and white, an all white, a citrus color, and then we'll do a mixed summer mix, and then we'll also do a pastel mix. I mean, all soft. You think of like different shades of like bu bubblegum pink and butter yellow and you know, uh, just a really powdery blue. That'll be one color mix as well. So we're just trying to get our, our game plan together now because we've had to switch. We're, we're what we call pivoting right now, trying to figure out which way direction to go because we're having to also go to our growers and find out what's gonna be available. Some are saying, oh, we'll be fine. Some have already went out of business. Some can't get it here. So we're just trying to get a game plan together and I kind of need your goddess to tell us, hey, you're on the mark. You need to do this. We'd like to see more of this, less of that. So we'll get started on some of the kits and we're gonna kind of kick that around and see where we go from there. Um, may not be this, well, it won't be this week. It may be next week before we get to it. And then um, we're gonna take tomorrow off. I'm going to stay home and visit with my wife for a little while because I haven't been home. I, I'm not there during the day and she informs me every day when I come home. Well, you haven't been here all day. So anyway, we're gonna spend the day, take tomorrow off for Sunday and we'll be back on Monday, hopefully. And we'll have a little bit more happy then. So I've been, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you're all doing well. It's a beautiful day at, at, in Little Rock. It's like. 59 degrees, 52 degrees, sun shining. You would think we were in Southern California, but we're not, we're in Little Rock. So anyway, thanks for watching and we will see you Monday, bye.